What's up, guys? Welcome to another edition of Market Marauders. Being the market, one trade at a time. For you to market Marauders, it's an investment channel. Helps you to find the best deals in the market. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you smash the subscribe button down below. Like, comment, and share. And this one, uh, this video is going to be from the point of view of Webull. So if you don't have Webull and you'd like to sign up, or if you don't have Robinhood and you'd like to sign up, uh, I have links down below. Uh, in the description so you know you can click on those and join the community uh, now I'm not saying either one is better than the other one um, just I know uh, on my option videos that I have for the week I do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two so those seem to be the two main platforms that people use but today I'll be giving uh, my penny stock uh, watch list from the point of view of Webull so with that being said let's jump into it um, on my first one for the week, I have IZEA Worldwide, ticker sign IZEA. Going over to a chart, moving average 10 is 168, moving average 50 is 172, moving average 200 is 248. Dated the week at 172. So they are below uh, moving average 50 and moving average uh, 100. And they had like you know, a pretty big fall off, pretty big sell off uh, towards the end of the week. Um, kind of went down past their moving average 50 and their moving average uh, 100. And usually when it crosses both of these thresholds, uh, you know, pattern wise, then, you know, that begins, you know, a very bearish pattern. So uh, looking forward to uh, next week, hopefully they'll cross this threshold of the moving average 50 and they'll converge and start to go back up and uh, break out again. So, um, you know, just reading charts uh, on this channel is not the way. Uh, I like to give some background information on what's going on with the company uh, to help you make a more informed decision. Uh, because, you know, reading chart patterns to me, you know, is good for some investors. But for me, I like to know as much information as possible since I'm a retail trader. I'm investing my own money into the stocks. I want to get the best, you know, possible return uh, on these stocks. And that can only be done, in my opinion, by going and actually researching the company, looking at its earnings, uh, looking at, you know, press releases of what's going on. Uh, something that can give me momentum or, you know, encourage me uh, to buy the stock. So with that being said, going to a press release of uh, IZEA on the 12th. So this is recent. This is on Friday. Um, they uh, released their... Uh, shake platform. So I'm just going to read the statement uh, and basically explains what it is. Uh, and also, you know, if you Google um, IZEA press releases, uh, it has this video on here. I'm not going to click on the video, but the video also explains uh, what the platform is. So it says IZEA Worldwide Incorporated, premier uh, provider of of influencer marketing technology, data, and services uh, for world's leading brands. They announced uh, the launch of Shake, a new online marketplace that allows creators to offer their services delivered uh, digitally for the determined price. Influencers, photographers, writers, musicians, and more can use Isaiah Shake uh, to collaborate and transact with marketers and individual buyers. Creators list available Shakes on their accounts in the platform and marketers select the purchase select and purchase uh, creative packages from them through a streamlined chat experience assisted by shakebot a proprietary artificial intelligence assistant so basically you know one reason that I chose this stock is that I think it has the potential to be like um, like upwork or teachable or you know Things of that nature. Uh, me personally, uh, I have not used Upwork, but I've heard you know really good things about it. Uh, and you know, Teachable I have used. Uh, I actually have a course uh, down below in the description if you guys want to check that out. Um, and you know, these platforms are helping people to uh, make different courses and use their different services. Um, and I think it's something you know very important for the whole culture of where we're at in the world today. Um, you know, more people uh, are looking to work from home. I know, uh, like, Twitter announced that they had uh, some positions that were permanently at home. Uh, so, you know, working from home and working remotely has become the new standard. Um, and, you know, Upwork is very successful uh, and also teachable. There's some other platforms, but I can't think of the name of them. Uh, and, you know, those 
platforms have done very well um, as far as, you know, getting people connected with uh, others so that they can, you know, use their services and basically be a freelancer. So, you know, freelancing is kind of, you know, the move forward. There are a lot of people who have a lot of different skills. You know, everyone has different schedules, uh, but, you know, companies still need like marketing services and photography and all this other stuff uh, because businesses still go on. So, you know, it's it's a better direct to consumer way. And I, I think it'll uh, be a lot profitable um, in the future. And, you know, one unique stock uh, that's out there. So going into the next one, uh, we got ticker sign BCRX. Uh, moving average 10 is for uh, 27, moving average 50 is 427, and moving average 100 is 425. So, BCRX is for uh, BioCrest Pharma Bio Pharmaceuticals. Tongue twister on that one. Uh, so, it looks like they uh, kind of went down below their moving average 50. Uh, it's kind of, you know, followed the trend line of moving average 50, uh, but it broke out towards the end of the day, um, you know, just a little bit and went above and ended at 429 so above their moving average 100 and their moving average 50 so you know a little bit of an uptrend towards the end of the day um and you know chart wise they've kind of been on an uptrend but you know they kind of did a little bit of a break off uh or you know a downtrend uh towards the end of the day but they kind of recovered uh to finish up the end of that day so going to some background information on them, um, this article was released on the 10th of June, so it's uh, pretty recent. Uh, they have um, this drug that they're developing, I can't not pronounce it for the life of me, uh, but it is uh, used to stop Zika viral replication uh, in primate model. So basically they're testing, you know, this, uh, um, what do you call it? vaccine if you would say uh on chimps uh or on uh primates and you know they have all the different dosing but they're seeing that it's uh being promising um and you know companies like this medical companies that uh you know try to help fight fight the pandemic situation and fight other diseases uh, infectious diseases um you know they have different spikes throughout the whole life of the company. So, you know, when they have a new development, something's being published, they'll shoot up. When they have, you know, they miss their target, they'll shoot down. Uh, when financials come out, you know, it may shoot up, may shoot down. That's just the way the companies behave. Uh, so this is, you know, one of the more volatile ones uh, for the week. But, you know, I think um, the company definitely has a lot of promise uh, because they're doing a lot of work. Seems like they're working really fast, um, and just interested to see what the company actually does um, and how you know they actually perform in the long run. So um, that's why I have them on uh, my penny stock watch list. Um, you know, I think they have a lot of good advance uh, advancements coming out, um, and they could uh, definitely make a difference as far as helping to fight those diseases. Now, going into our next one, uh, it's going to be a repeat of uh, not last week's video, but the video from that, um, and it's going to be ticker sign GNUS, everyone's favorite, Genius Brands. So, moving average 10 is 4, 407, moving average 50 is 403, and moving average 100 is $4 even. Uh, and they ended the week at 419, so they have a little breakout that has gone, uh, gone on and just taken off um so you know they had a a breakout that began at the end of the day um and let's see what has caused that breakout so if you guys are familiar with the uh, genius brands uh from my last video that i did um basically they're you know a company that makes uh informative uh you know educational children's shows um, and they have a toy line that they're doing uh, with Mattel. So, you know, a lot of big things on the horizon for them. But this news came out Friday and basically is why uh, it is beginning to break out. So Genius Brands International launches the new cartoon channel on Monday, June 15th, which is this Monday coming up. Uh, and over 100 million U.S. television households and 200 million mobile devices with over 4,000 episodes of family-friendly content. Um, which, you know, to me, I think is awesome. Uh, especially, you know, since it's the beginning of summer or, you know, the right 
towards the beginning of summer, you got kids at home all the time, and you're launching a brand new cartoon channel, so I mean, something that's family friendly, um, you know, one thing that uh, people, you know, ask, how do, how do you pick stocks? How do you pick penny stocks? You know, you look at industries of things that you can understand. To me, this is like one of the easiest things to understand. It's a company that makes cartoons for children. So, I mean, it's not that difficult to understand uh, their business model, um, especially, you know, you look at their executive team. They've added some pretty big uh, names to their executive team uh, who have really good track records. Uh, that may be speculative. Some people say their track records are bad. Some people say their track records are good. Um, that's irrelevant. They still have uh, big names behind them. Um, with those big names, you know, come, uh, you know, different leverage and, you know, different connections to different people and you know those big names they don't get those big names for nothing uh in my opinion you know with names uh with you know their track records and all the things they've done over time uh it comes with experience and experience you know uh is something that people are always willing to pay for you know if someone has the experience they've done this before they know how to how the whole process works that is like almost priceless so you have people with you know really good experience on your team this thing you know has no choice but to uh be profitable so, uh, with that being said, that's one, you know, reason why I have him on here. Um, and then also, uh, reading a little bit of the, uh, press release on here, uh, it says, Genius Brand International announced the launch of new free digital cartoon channel on June 15 to be available over 100 million U.S. television households and over 200 million mobile devices across multiple AVOD and OTT. The cable platforms include Amazon Prime, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, Apple iOS, Android, Roku, Dish, Sling TV, Comcast, Xfinity, On Demand, COX, uh, Tubi, uh, Zumo, Select TV, Redbox, Plex, and YouTube. So there's not a platform that is not on here that I've seen. Um, and, you know, they're just going to continue to grow, um, in my opinion. And I think, you know, that they're going to be very profitable uh, with, you know, this team that they have. So it says, uh, Cartoon Channel's uh, best class executive team, uh, Margaret, I cannot pronounce his last name, Loesch, uh, David Newman, uh, Caroline Ty, or Try, uh, will spread the launch efforts with, uh, which will feature throughout the summer theme programming events as Friday Fun Film, uh, series marathons, uh, on air, uh, talent interviews with viewer participation, holiday theme specials, and more. So, you know, this is, you know, family, uh, fun, uh, things, good, wholesome, you know, cartoons, which is, you know, something that we need uh, right now, in my opinion, uh, in the world. Um, you know, families can get together and watch this. It's for children. Um, you know, there's always, you know, already so much negativity out there as far as, you know, things are concerned in the world. Um, and this just seems to be a positive move in the right direction, in my opinion. Um, not to sound like, you know, a hippie on here, but, you know, positivity is always good. So, interested to see how that performs next week. Um, looking for that to uh, do some crazy uh, numbers uh, once that finally gets uh, the ball rolling. Uh, now, jumping into uh, my next one, or my last one, we have ticker sign HTZ uh, for Hertz. So, people may say, oh, man, you got Hertz on here. You know, Hertz has been doing crazy. They fought for bankruptcy. Um, you know, why would you have them on here? It's a terrible pick. Um, I think they have potential. Uh, and I will explain. Uh, so moving average 10 is 286. Moving average 50 is 287. Moving average 100 is 287. And they ended the week at 283. Yep. Yeah, so they're below their moving average 50 and moving average uh, 100. So uh, if you're new to you know charts in general, uh, especially on Weeble, make sure that you have your group set all the same so if you have your groups on different numbers like this is on two this is on four it's on five or something like that all these are not going to seamlessly transition so all of mine are on one so when i change one on here it changes this one change this one all of them update at the same time so you know if you're trying to get your charts uh, like this chart uh just bear that in mind that's how you know you can get it seamlessly to change uh and be integrated with each other because 
Uh, when I first started, you know, it's kind of annoying to go on here, look it up, then go on here, look it up, go on here, look it up, and then try to go on here and change it. So that was something that, you know, I don't know if a lot of people know that, or if it's just common knowledge, because I'm new to the platform. Uh, but, you know, that's something that definitely helps me out a lot, especially when analyzing uh, different charts. Also, something you may be wondering how to get on here. Um, you can actually go in here into the settings. Uh, I'm not going to click on it, but you can go in here to the settings and change the color of these. Um, I think when you first get the platform, it only has like two on, one on here or two, uh, but I actually changed it to the moving average 10, moving average 50, and moving average 100 uh, because just my personal preference, it's easier for me to read charts. Uh, it's easier for me to find breakouts just like this one um, and set alerts for when it crosses its moving average 50 um, and then also alerts for when it crosses its moving average 100 so you know I would set like an alert right here uh, you know buy in uh, you know have this run up and then it'll send me another alert that it's crossed its moving average uh, 100 then you know then I can be like all right you know it's on its breakout and then set me a stop loss uh, down here at the moving average uh, 100 price so you know Basically, you know, profit, 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 and then profit. Uh, so, you know, you can take it up here, uh, you know, take the profit up here. But the way charts go, you know, you really don't know. Um, and it may not be the best method. Uh, you know, there are other better methods out there. But, you know, it's all a learning process. I may come up with something uh, different next week. But uh, that's just the way I analyze that. Uh, jumping into some background information on hertz uh this came out on 22nd of may so it basically says uh hertz global holdings takes action to strengthen capital structure uh following impact of global uh you know running situation voluntarily files for chapter 11 uh reorganization as essential business uh, Hertz and subsidiaries around the world remain open uh, with the same award-winning services for customers. All customer and loyalty program expected to continue as usual. One billion in cash on hand to support continuing operations. So you may be saying, why are you having Hertz? You know, they're going through problems. You know, every like 90% of the airports that I have been to have a Hertz location at the airport. So that's all those cars, all those people that work there, uh, you know, moving back and forth. And, you know, majority of the companies that I've worked for use Hertz as their prime, you know, contractor. And I don't think that's going to change. So Hertz is actually a very large location. I mean, a uh, company. And they have a lot of locations, you know, everywhere. So, I don't see that infrastructure going anywhere. You know, if worst came to worst and they were actually in as a bad situation as they as possible, somebody, you know, looking from the outside in may actually purchase them if they were that bad of a situation. But I don't think they're that bad of a situation. I think they were, you know, trying to refocus on how they could tackle the new you know, global impact of the Roni situation, because it's something that's never happened before, you know, how do you sanitize cars, how do you, you know, rent, continue to rent cars, if, you know, can you have multiple people be in the car, uh, how does that whole thing work, and, you know, that stuff takes time, now, I think, you know, they can bounce back from this, um, you know, I like using Hertz, um, you know, I think it's a, a solid company, um, and, you know, I think, you know, people are kind of downplaying it for reasons that I don't know. Um, I definitely think, you know, they're a lot bigger than budget, uh, maybe smaller than enterprise, uh, but I, I'm pretty sure their Hertz is bigger than enterprise. Um, but, you know, they have locations everywhere. You know, most of the places you go, um, you have you have a Hertz. Even in small towns, there's usually a Hertz and an Enterprise, uh, and even in big cities. So big cities, you expect to have you know a Hertz Enterprise budget, but budget and some of those other smaller ones don't go to the outskirts cities. But in the outskirts cities, like small towns and things of that nature, you'll find a Hertz or you'll find a, a Enterprise. You usually find either one or both. So you know. They have locations, you know, all over the place. They got a lot of big contracts. Um, and, you know, I think the company uh, has potential to continue to grow. Um, I definitely think, you know, now may be a good time to buy it, um, especially considering all the things they're going through and the people who are just massively selling this off. Um, 
uh, you know, just to try to make a quick buck. I think, you know, it definitely has potential. And if you look at the charts, um, you can see that it, you know, it has breaking out, you know, quite a bit. But I think it was attacked by people who just shorted it and didn't look at it as a long-term investment. Just looked at it for a quick buck. Now, if you're looking at it for a quick buck, I mean, you know, be my guest on that one. Uh, but I think for, you know, long-term growth potential, I think, you know, it definitely has uh, that capability. Anyways, that's my uh, watch list for penny stocks for the week. Um, down below the description, make sure you check out that course. Make sure you check out, um, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the comment, tell me which penny stocks you guys are looking at. Um, and I'll try to put some posts on throughout the week um, on some picks, you know, that I see throughout the week uh, that I think may be good or so. So make sure you check out the posts in the community tab. I'm going to try to post on that more often. So throughout the week, uh, you know, we can all discuss the picks that are going on because the stocks, stock market changes all the time. Different penny stocks are, are going on. Different moves are being made. So I hope this information helps you all and have a good weekend uh, and good luck trading next week.